Hello my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you're back, welcome back. Today I have a really fun and interesting unboxing for you today because this is new to me. Uh, the company is not new to me, but the way that it has been packaged certainly is. Um, obviously, this is an order from Die Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop. In the interest of full disclosure, I wanna make sure you know right up front that I am an affiliate for Die Moon Shop. If you are interested in supporting my channel by letting them know that I sent you, I will have info below as far as my uh, disc any seasonal discount codes and my affiliate code that you're welcome to share in the coupon box at checkout. There's no obligation. There's lots of other fabulous affiliates out there, but I placed this order actually, it's been a couple of months now, and I think this may have been the first round of orders that they sent in this new shipping and packaging method. So I need to get over there and ask for some more details as far as I don't know if things like the pricing are going to be affected necessarily. I don't even know what all is included in here just yet, but this is from the round of new Margaret Morales releases that happened towards the beginning of April. So uh, interestingly enough though, an order that I placed over a month later arrived the same day as these did. So I don't think that that longer turnaround time is going to be standard. My guess is that it's just part of the transition and the growing pains. So I love a company that is always trying to improve and do better. And I'm very curious to see what we're going to find in here. Now, the way that these shipped, they're in these boxes and it looks like they put one kit in each box because there's three kits here. And they actually did ship in kind of these plastic trash bag material mailers around the boxes. So I can see that like this one got a little bit crunched. We're gonna take a look at the canvases and stuff inside and see. Now the boxes themselves, I wanna say, okay, so here is, there is the artwork on the end of the box and I think that may be my order number, I'm not sure. But this artwork, you can't really tell. But this is the kit in particular that I'm most excited about. It's Hades and Persephone from Die Moon Shop and Margaret Morales. Uh, this one is Carnival Ride, it looks like. And then this one, I have a shoot. What is the name of this one? We'll find out when I open it up. So we're gonna start with the one that I'm most excited about uh, because I'm just, I'm dying to see it. I'm dying to see it. So I actually, ooh, that's nice how that opens. I sent this image over to them when Margaret Morales released it quite a while back. And I was like, I really hope that they will consider licensing this image because this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so it looks like they put all the kit contents in here inside this box. So appreciate that there is an additional plastic sleeve to protect it here. Let's take a look. I don't know if this means that they have changed anything as far as their manufacturer goes, but we're gonna take a look and find out. <laughs> I already see right off the bat, we have that really like must have gray border that we've come to know and love from Die Moon Shop. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I just, absolutely fell in love with this image and this artwork. Hades and Persephone is the name of it. This looks like the same, this looks like the same manufacturer as we had before because it's the same style. It looks like the same exclusively alphanumeric symbols. So my guess is that this is the same manufacturer. So over here on the side, we've got their logo, their branding. Here's that thumbnail of that original artwork. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, if you don't know the mythology behind Hades and Persephone, it's a really fascinating and beautiful story. And is also one of those ones that like there's some tragedy in it as well, but I just fell in love with this artwork immediately. And as soon as I saw that they were releasing it, I was, there like oh on the launch day i was like it's mine it has to be mine <laughs> i got this in the biggest size they had available at the time they had limited sizing available i don't know if that's part of maybe the new shipping process or something like that so they may have increased sizes available at this point i'm gonna go check after this <laughs> but i got it in 50 by 65 and i got it with square diamonds so that i could get as much detail as possible in this image honestly i would have rather have gotten it in an even larger size because margaret morales artwork has a really watercolory like impressionistic effect and i 
don't want to lose any of it. And also given that I was so excited about this particular image, I knew that I just wanted it in the biggest size possible. <laughs> uh, we do have a legend on the canvas and it has 36 colors in the canvas itself. I see one AB listed, but it looks like they have also included uh, the regular version of the diamond. That's something that they started doing um, several months back. They started including both the AB and the regular version, so you can choose which way you wanna do it. I'm gonna roll this back just to help it lay flat more quickly, though it is already kind of laying flat on its own pretty well. Uh, I like the canvas material on these. Uh, it lays flat really nicely, like there we go. <laughs> and uh, it has these scalloped and finished edges. You're not gonna have to worry about fraying. They use poured glue. It's a really nice quality of poured glue and it's definitely an upgrade from what they had earlier on in their company. Um, they do use exclusively alphanumeric symbols, like letters and numbers on their canvases now. That is one thing that I would be interested to see them change, to be honest with you, because for my eyes, I find that I can pick out symbols more easily, especially in really confetti heavy canvases like these tend to be. If there's a mix of symbols in there as well and not just letters and numbers, that's me nitpicking. That's just how my brain works. You may completely disagree and you may love that they're exclusively alphanumeric. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. I just, I love the contrast of the dark and the light. I love the softness of Persephone. Like, oh my gosh, what a lovely image. So what else was included in here, which I skipped, I skipped past it because I was so excited to look at the canvas and the image. Um, there is a basic toolkit that was included. I don't know if there's a way to this fell out because it kind of poked a hole in the bottom. Um, I don't know if there's a way to like pass on the toolkit. There used to be when they when they package their kits a little bit differently. Um, so I don't know if there's a way to say like, I don't need a toolkit, but this is a little bit different set of uh, tools than uh, came with their kits when they packaged them a little bit differently, like when they wrapped them up in their house and stuff. So um, I don't know what was in their house, but <laughs> you know what I mean? When they packaged everything up. Uh, differently anyway so we have the bag of diamonds here along with an inventory sheet and the nice thing about having this is that you could run this through if you have like a sticker maker uh, you could run this through that and it makes stickers for you so you can use that for kitting up purposes all the info about the artwork is at the top along with that original image this has been legally licensed from margaret morales so margaret morales is both being compensated for the use of her artwork and has per given permission for the use of her artwork by diamond shop now the diamonds they do come pre-bagged for you now. This top number is the DMC number, and this right here, I believe, yes, it's done by weight. So that's how many ounces of diamonds there are. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm taking a look just at colors and at quality. Um, I think that Diamond Shop's newer squares, um, which I think that they switched manufacturers about a year ago now, um, I like their new squares. They're much more consistent in quality. I run into very little trash. <laughs> look at this rich blue color, oh my gosh. And if you look, like they look like the bottoms are all really consistent. They're all flat. I don't see tabs. I don't see trash or anything like that. I was curious to see if that AB is in here. Now, when I ordered these kits, they were supposed to come with a free special treatment, which is some specialty drills. And um, they sent me an email right around when this was gonna ship, and they said that my specialty diamonds had been lost in transit, so they would be sending me replacements when they arrived, and that's, that's really fine. So I don't mind. Here's that AB. Where's the regular color? Because I was gonna compare it for you guys. There we go. So they have included an AB version of the 318 diamond. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights have this really pretty shimmery effect, these diamonds do as well. Now ABs, it can be a little bit subjective if you like having ABs in your painting and, and where they've been charted. So they have actually included the regular version of the color as well. So you can decide if you would like to include those ABs or not. 
Let me show you where that symbol is because I'm curious if those are ABs that I might want to place. So we're looking for the symbol H. This is a highly confetti heavy painting. So my guess is it's gonna be kind of sprinkled throughout. And I do, I see it kind of sprinkled through the grays, kind of intermittently throughout some of the grays down here. Um, I see, yeah, there's a little bit over here. This is her dress. And so to be honest with you, a little bit of extra sparkle in her dress might actually be really pretty. Where's that letter H? See, I'm doing it now. I'm looking and I'm just seeing a sea of letters <laughs> and my eye is having a hard time picking out. Yeah, because they're like H's and N's are right next to each other. So there's a bunch of H's through here. That could be a really pretty effect to put some of that AB in here. A little bit here, a little bit here, and then it's just really lightly kind of some of this like middle shade of gray is the letter H. So, you know, I might place a few and see. There's some in, in Hades' hand. I'm not going to put ABs in that skin tone. But there we go. Like, I have both. <laughs> I have the AB and the regular version of that color. So I can pick and choose. I like that. Here where some of her dress is peeking out here, there's a little bit of that symbol in there. So I could put it there. And then let's see. There's a little bit in the skull. Oh, it's a little bit of glare. I'm so sorry, you guys. Uh, there's a little bit of that gray in the skull up here. And yeah, a little bit in this middle tone of the gray up here. I don't know that I would put some there. But anyway, that's one of those things that you can just sort of try it and see what you think. <laughs> um, that's probably what I'll do is there's some areas that, like in her dress specifically, that I think that uh, some of that gray AB would be really pretty, but other areas like in Hades' hand, probably not going to do gray ABs. But you guys, this is Hades and Persephone. This is the first of three kits that I got in this order. I love this artwork. I cannot wait to see how it comes together. I think the colors look so pretty. And it seems like my package and everything arrived in good condition, even in, in the new shipping method. So let's pull out my next kit. Let me set this to the side. We'll pull out my next kit and take take a look at what we've got going for us here. So next up, let's just pick this one at random. I'm not even gonna look at the end. Let's just open it up and find out. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is gonna be the carnival. What was the name of this one? Carnival Ride? Oh my gosh, now I have to say this one, yeah, it's just named Carnival Ride. This one is maybe not my normal go-to style. It's a little more eclectic than I might usually go for, but I was just absolutely in love with basically all of the Margaret Morales kits that were released and I just wanted all of them. <laughs> and this one for some reason, like the really fun colors in it and like the highly stylized part of it, it was kind of just calling my name. So she looks so cute. Let me turn her sideways so you can see the whole thing in frame. Um, she is so adorable. I love the details in her dress. I love the details like in her hat with the playing cards. I think that the carnival horse behind her is gorgeous. Look at the colors in the horse's mane. And let me show you that original artwork as well. So here's the original artwork. And isn't it so fun and so striking? I love it. So I got this one in 50 by 72 centimeters, but I got it in round diamonds. It looks like it's gonna have 36 colors as well. I think that's how much we had in the other kit. Now, I did just realize that I forgot to measure that first kit. We'll go back to it in a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure this one and see if we are true to size. Hold on, measuring deep. So, oops, this is not totally flat. We are a tick shy of 72 centimeters tall. And 
exactly 50 centimeters wide. So we are true to size, not surprising. Here, let's measure Hades and Persephone really quickly as well. So we should be 65 tall, a tick shy of 65, and then a half centimeter shy of 50. I am still gonna call that true to size. So yay, true to size like we've come to expect from Die Moon Shop. But yes, I just thought this image was so fun. She's very whimsical and very dreamy, which are two of my favorite things. I like the effect of the lights at the top. <laughs> I thought that that's a really pretty effect. It looks like we're going to have all alphanumeric symbols in here. And our AB option that they're going to give us is this 321, maybe a red AB. We'll look at those colors in just a minute. But looking at the drill field, everything is printed very clearly. The symbols will be just a tiny bit bigger than the square drill field because round diamonds are actually a little bit larger than square diamonds are. I believe squares are 2.5 millimeters and rounds are around 2.8, 2.7. Um, Diamond Die Moon Shop does give you the option of choosing round or square diamonds with your kit. And for some, though not all, kits, they actually will have different size options available as well. And the price scales, depending on which size you choose, whether you choose square or round diamonds, it will it'll vary. So, But you can kind of create your own experience if you know exactly what kind of, uh, like what size of diamond painting you want to work with. Like if you have a lot of large kits in your stash and don't necessarily want to add another large one, you can choose a smaller size or something like that. Here are all these beautiful colors in this kit. And if you take a look, there is our red AB. I'm not gonna pull it out just because we can see it pretty well from there. And I'm guessing that is the regular version of the red diamond as well. So the places that those have been charted, this is a little easier to find actually. So tons in her dress, actually. Um, there's just oodles and oodles of that symbol in her dress. Um, Cause her dress here, like the brightest parts are primarily two different colors. The one with the white symbol is a non AB and the one with the black symbol that probably looks darkest to you in camera. Uh, that is a possible AB. So. I think that that could be a really pretty place to put ABs, like the bottom of her dress making that sparkle. Yeah, I think that would be super, super pretty. <laughs> and a bunch over here as well. And I don't know if that's like her dress or her skirt, because then, oh, she's wearing like a coat um, or a cape here, but there's a bunch of that a possible AB here on her shoulder uh, over here as well. And then there's, I oh, perfect. I will totally put AB in these spots. The bow on the carnival horses, or the carousel horses head, absolutely. And then there's actually a couple in her lips. That could be really pretty. And then some of the spots of red in her hat. Oh my gosh, I actually really love those spots. I will probably definitely use the ABs in those spots because those seem like perfect places to put some ABs. So you guys, the name of this one again is Carnival Ride. It's also from Margaret Morales and was my second of three kits in this particular order. So let me shift this one to the side and let's take a look at my third kit, which I am unfortunately <laughs> blanking on the exact name of, but we'll find out when we open up the canvas. So I'm glad to see, oops, I'm really glad to see that none of these arrived damaged. Even the one that had some crunch to it. Everything all seems to be well. And <laughs> can you guys tell from the colors immediately why I needed her? Oh my gosh. A must have. Oh my gosh. Look at all the pinks and purples. She is gorgeous. And those cherry blossoms, Yumiko is the name of this one. And I do apologize if I'm mispronouncing that name. Look at these diamonds. Oh my gosh, the pinks and the purples. 
I love it. Okay, let me show you uh, the original artwork. And there's the title, just in case I'm mispronouncing it. Yumiko, Yumiko. Anyway, look at the cherry blossoms. Oh, look how pretty she is. So this is from Margaret Morales. Again, again, these are all from the set of new releases at the beginning of April. This is in 50 by 67 with round diamonds and it has 36 colors. Our A, B option in this one is going to be 820, which is a dark blue. And they've of course included the regular diamond as well. Let's roll this backwards. So by the way, uh, this is safe to do, rolling it backwards, I mean, because these are poured glue canvases. If, for whatever reason, you're working on a double-sided adhesive or something like that canvas, do not roll it backwards. That will damage the glue. But poured glue, it is safe to roll backwards like this. <laughs> She's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I could not resist her. And I bet that she is going to be popular. Like, I bet that a lot of people picked her up because those colors look at how dreamy and gorgeous she is oh i adore her adore her i adore margaret morales's artwork i've completed a few pieces by her from diamond shop she and Cheriyuki are easily my favorite artists that they license from really similar styles and really fit diamond shop's rendering style in general which is more of a i guess almost a computer rendered style where it's going to feel a little bit more whimsical um, it's going to have a little bit more in the way of like blurred lines it's going to get super super close to the original artwork and it may or may not be your thing but <laughs> i like their rendering style particularly with artists like margaret morales and Cheriyuki because I just think it translates so beautifully. I just measured this and it is measuring true to size, which is not surprising. We still have the paper inventory sheet in here that has all the info and that you can use to turn into a sticker and kit up if you so choose. I actually will even cut out the image and I'll put that in my logbook as kind of my logbook um, artwork because I, I do have a paper logbook and I enjoy just tracking my projects in there and having a picture of the artwork in there as well. Now, since this AB is so distinct, I wanted to pull it out. Let me find its regular color counterpart if I can. There you are. Okay, so if you take a look, this is the regular color for 820 and this is the AB version. So the AB version is a bit lighter in color. And if you take a look at that iridescent coating on the top, it's reflecting, it's actually reflecting some pinks and purples, which may really suit this piece because of all the pinks and purples in it. But you'll wanna be careful because it is a lighter color. It's possible that it might, um, I don't think it's gonna distort the original artwork. I don't think that's the right word for it, but I think it might change the uh, overall finished effect of it. So I would be really intentional about whether or not you decide to actually place these. Let's take a look though and see where that color has been charted. By the way, look at these giant bags of pink diamonds. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Now I didn't really look at the quality on the round drills in the other kit, so I'll take a quick look now. Um, I'm seeing virtually no trash and the quality from what I'm seeing looks nice. The bottoms are flat. Sometimes it looks like you can see like a little poked through hole. That's not going to be like a problem as long as it's not concave. Like as long as it doesn't look like it's been scooped out, then you'll be fine. Anyway, all those pretty colors. Again, I'm not going to pull them all out just for sake of time. Um, but let's take a quick look. We are looking for letter Y. So starting at the bottom, let's see. Again, with the, the really confetti heavy style of this artwork, it's gonna be um, sprinkled throughout. You're not gonna see it in really distinct linear chunks necessarily. So there's some of it through here in the bottom of her, is she wearing a kimono? Whatever she is wearing, because I don't wanna misname it. Uh, there's a chunk of it here as well. That lighter blue might look really pretty, especially surrounded on both sides with that pink and purple. That might look really nice. There's a little bit of it in here. It's the darkest blue that you're seeing on the screen is that particular symbol. 
And then a little bit over here, there's a tiny sprinkle of it here, a little bit of it right here, and a little sprinkle of it in here in the midst of some like darker purples. As we keep moving up, there's some in here. Again, the darkest blue that you're seeing is that letter Y right around here. So I'm trying to avoid glare. <laughs> I don't know why these uh, that plastic cover and the angle of my lighting just seems to be so glare prone today. Um, lots of that dark Y symbol. A lot of it right here, kind of. This is like her back like the part of her kimono or her robe that's like kind of draping down a little bit. The darkest colors you're seeing here, that could be a really pretty place for that AB. I don't know though if we'll lose some of that, if that's the darkest color that's right there and it's designed to give her a little bit of shading. Maybe I wanna keep the regular diamond and not the AB necessarily. I don't know, I might have to try it and see which I like better. Uh, the glue quality on Diamond Shop's canvases, especially these newer ones, um, and by newer I mean like the ones that they started getting, you know, in the last year or so, uh, not literally this, <laughs> this set of boxes. Um, it's good enough that it should be able to hold up to me picking off drills a couple of times and replacing them and it shouldn't lose its stickiness, but you wouldn't want to do that like a million times or anything. Uh, a little bit of that a possible AB symbol over here kind of sprinkled again throughout. That's her hair though, so I don't know. I don't know about ABs right there, but again, this is completely up to you. You can choose what you think looks good to you. Maybe that's the branches of the tree possibly because I think some of this is the branch of the tree. Yeah, so there's a little bit of that possible AB actually in the branch of that tree. And a tiny bit in the branches of each of these, in the branches that you see here as well. There's a little bit of that symbol that you could put the AB down for if you wanted to for the darker blue. So anyway, you guys, I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> I do really like what I'm seeing. I love the colors. When I work on diamond shot pieces though, I have to be ready for the confetti. Like it just, I know how it's gonna be, but it's usually so worth it. It ends up being a really nice translation of the original artwork. And um, I have sent them feedback before when I feel like sometimes it's turned out in a way that doesn't totally work, I feel like. And they're usually pretty receptive to that, which I super appreciate it. So anyway, the name of this piece was Yumiko, also by Margaret Morales from that new set of releases. And this was the third of my three kits from this order. So this was Yumiko. And then we had Carnival Ride here. And can I fit <laughs> all three of these large canvases? Not really. Here's Hades and Persephone as well. So you guys, I am really happy with what I'm seeing. Again, Hades and Persephone is probably the one that I am most excited about because it's the one that as soon as I saw the original artwork, I absolutely fell in love, immediately sent it over to Diamond Shop, like, please license this, please, 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 please. And I'm thrilled that they finally have. I really would like to work on one of these pieces as soon as possible because I just wanna see if it looks like there may be any changes um, to the rendering style or to anything about the quality as far as actually working on it goes. So that is definitely on my to-do list. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and getting into these kits with me. I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope that it was helpful for you guys to get to see how these look and maybe what Die Moon Shop has to offer. Again, I'm curious to see how things are gonna go with this new shipping process. I'm gonna try to find out a little bit more info as far as if anything's gonna be changing um, as far as pricing or procedure, anything like that goes. And I'll try to add that to the description box if I do find that out as soon as I find out. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Again, I'm an affiliate. If you'd like to let them know that I sent you, if you decide to place an order, I've got my affiliate info below, but please don't feel obligated. Um, they run sales as well, so sign up for their emails and follow them on Instagram and stuff. But anyway, you guys, I hope you are having an absolutely amazing day. And if you wanna see lots more diamond painting content from me, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you, but yeah, I'm gonna let you go. Have an amazing day, you guys. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.